guys, I am back with another fun video for you. This week I'm going to be showing you the travel art supplies I'm taking with me on my trip to Canada. Um, I am going to be driving up to Canada with my husband this week and then um, he'll stay for an extra week for work and I will fly back home to um, get back to work with and uh, spend time with my kiddos. And don't mind my grody nails. Um, I dyed my hair uh, royal blue the other day and so uh, all my cuticles and everything stained. And between that and working with pastels, my hands look perpetually gross even when I wash them really well. But I thought I would show you kind of what I'm planning on bringing and kind of why I'm bringing it to see if it inspires you and kind of um, gives you an idea of what you can bring with you on your trip. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the sketchbook. This is a brand new sketchbook. It is a Strathmore sketchbook and I believe it has Strathmore 400 paper, which I'm really familiar with working um, because the last sketchbook I completed was using this paper. So it's pretty smooth, but it's got a little bit of texture, so it's not quite as smooth as hot press paper. And I like the size of this sketchbook. It wasn't too big, um, but it was really easy to still fit landscape pictures in and show some detail because I'm using, I'm going to use this for my travel sketchbook. And if you are not familiar with what I like to do when I travel, I like to use my sketchbooks as kind of a journal. And so I'll sketch a scene of what I was doing and, whoops, I'll bring it back in frame. Um, I like to sketch what I've been doing on and kind of write a little journal entry about that trip. So this is the sketchbook I'm bringing. I was hoping that I could actually make a sketchbook with my arches paper, but I just didn't have time before it was time to leave. So I picked this one up from uh, Hobby Lobby and it was on sale and so... I thought that would work great. So there's that. Let me show you the rest of what I'm bringing. Um, the rest of my supplies are in this kind of clear zipper bag. Um, it's nice thick plastic so hopefully it'll be a little bit more durable than a Ziploc bag. That way I'm not always going through Ziploc bags when I travel and throwing more in the, the landfill. So let me show you what I have inside of it and talk about it a little bit. So the first thing I pulled out is my tape. Um, this tape kind of takes up a lot of space in there, but I like to tape the edges of my sketchbooks because it creates a nice clean line and it helps the paper stay durable when I'm painting. Um, I got really thin tape. Um, that way it doesn't take up too much of the edges of my paper since the sketchbook's a little bit smaller. I didn't want to um, use up too much of my space with my painting space with tape so I'm bringing that I was originally going to bring a little bit less but I will have quite a bit of time to paint while my husband's at work during the day and I was thinking about it and I thought I might go through more tape than I thought I would so um, I'm gonna bring that um, next up is a good eraser so that I can erase what I've drawn if I don't like it so Pretty simple, straightforward. Um, I've got some water brush pens um, in a couple different sizes. These are just the Masters Touch brand. I have the Pentel ones, but they're pretty well worn out and they've gotten really leaky because I've had them for so long. And I don't use brush pens very often, so I didn't want to spend a lot of money on them. So I just picked these up and I will try them out while I'm on this trip. Next up, I've just got some Micron pens in different sizes, 01, 05, and 03. Um, I like the Microns because I have fine tips on them and the ink is waterproof and so I can draw with the, do the inking first and then paint over the top if I want without worry of it smudging. These are also archival and so they don't fade. It's not a huge deal when you're working in a sketchbook because it's not going to be displayed, but it's just kind of nice. So I got those. I've got my jelly roll pen. Um, since I won't be bringing my um, Bombay India ink, this will be used to create highlights if I accidentally darken up spots too much. So I have a nice 
mechanical pencil. This has two bead lead in it and it is nice thick lead. Um, really great for shading and um, doing thicker, broader lines. And so I have the pencil and then I am just bringing some extra lead if I need it. I wanted to do a little bit more traditional uh, sketching in my sketchbook instead of just um, watercolor paintings. So I'm bringing that. A traditional mechanical pencil because this has um, HB lead and it's just cheap and easy and I don't feel stressed if it gets lost. So, so for my paints, um, I have this old palette that I got. It's an art philosophy palette. Um, pretty typical tin watercolor palette. Um, I think this was from the original paints in here were from their tropical set. But I have mostly replaced it with my own paints. Uh, most of these are Winsor & Newton colors, actually, from their Cotman half pens that I bought a few years ago. But I didn't like the palette that it, they came in, the travel palette. So I kind of swapped them over. Um, this is the array of colors I picked. Just kind of like alizarin crimson, cad red deep, cad red light. Uh, cad orange, cad yellow, lemon yellow, yellow ochre, black, burnt sienna, purple, like a Prussian blue, thalo blue, ultramarine blue. Uh, I think this is thalo green, sap green, and uh, like a green gold color. So a pretty good mix of colors. I can pretty much paint anything that I encounter um, without having like a bajillion colors. So I tried to have a good variety of colors so that I could paint whatever I came across. Um, but I didn't want to bring tons of things because I have to keep track of those things and take care of them. And I like having a space right here for me to put wet wipes in, like, or a, a paper towel rolled up um, for me to wipe my brush off when I'm painting. Um, so that's the colors I'm bringing. I like this palette because it's, it's small enough that it doesn't take up very much space, but... I can spread it out. I've got little wells, a couple big ones, and um, I can pull the palette out. Let's see. I, I did this just a minute ago, and now I'm struggling um, because I have so many paints in here. Uh, I, I overfilled the palette. There we go. Um, because this palette, I put two extra colors on the side because there was enough room for them, but it just makes it a little bit t tight to pull in and out. Um, but I can remove this and then I have a few more spots to paint. So I have, I have quite a bit of mixing space, especially for how small of a sketchbook I'm working in. I don't need a ton of mixing space. So just a nice little palette full of plenty of colors. All the supplies I grabbed will be pretty easy for me to um, paint quite a few things while my husband's at work during the day and create lots of paintings and experiment and have fun. But it's also small enough that when I'm going through the airport on my way home, I'm not trying to find space for a mall um, or having to kind of show everything I have. I didn't want to bring tubes and worry about messes. So it's pretty streamlined, but still has a lot of playful options. So I hope you enjoy this kind of travel supply video and I hope it inspires you to take art supplies with you when you travel. Um, hopefully when I get back, I'll be able to show you some of the paintings I did while traveling and kind of talk, share them with you and talk about them. But anyways, I hope you have a great day. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more of what I create, please hit the subscribe button.